this will take us back downstairs. Which will take us back upstairs, I think. The whiz rope. And arrows don't kill those guys in one hit. I don't know, my my suspicion tells me there's like a bombable wall here. No. My suspicion is not good. I think there is a bombable wall somewhere though. That you have to go through. Alright, okay, you gotta do the same thing here. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want... I don't think they face a certain way, that's the thing. I think what we'll just do is we'll do this. Ah, oh, I messed that up. Like, I don't think it really matters, to be honest. Okay, maybe, maybe so. Can, can, can do these face different ways? I'm pretty sure they don't. Like, if I do that, and like, that, and that, like, yeah, they don't face different ways. I'm doing this completely wrong. Something is up. I'm pretty sure all you do is... It's just this. <laughs> yeah, I would do that, wouldn't I? Here, let's let's get me at the top here so I can see better. There we go. Yeah, I knew that. See? I'm not crazy. I know what I'm doing. Let's bust with some bombs. Uh, and blow them up. <laughs> Look at all those kitten stones. Oh man, I should have also used the great spin attack. That also would have uh, stomped these guys. Uh, here is where there's definitely a bombable wall. Somewhere in here. Somewhere in here. What's the map say? Map says nothing. I'm like almost positive there's a bomb of wall in here. I will find you. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> you can't fool me, game. <laughs> I know all your traps. <laughs> they're tricks. I guess they're tricks. Tricks are for kids. I guess we're into episode 52 now. Hi guys, how you doing? Own spec 33. I don't know if that's where episode 52 is going to start, but I know we're for sure into episode 52 just based on the time. Oh, great. This is like. I, f I forget what the figurines call these. These are like Dark Nut Captains or something. These guys you don't mess with. So you gotta block them, that stuns them. But if they start charging up, you gotta avoid them, and then they'll still be stunned. But we got them. Was that. Do we push this? Why, why did that shake? There we go. Stairway. It's two ways to go. I don't know which way. Well, okay, we'll get this thing then. It's the compass. Doesn't make the doot 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 sound. I only edited that in in like one of the dungeons. I don't know. I wasn't in the mood to edit it into every place. Maybe. Well, here's the place where I guess we use the flame lantern. We don't really have to. I mean, we can see. Uh, but it burns those uh, gibdos. It's really hard to burn them sometimes, though. That's the only that's the reason I don't really do it. Because sometimes it's just hard to get them. Because they, like, hug you. So you gotta kind of, like, get them from the back. And just leave them alone. <laughs> I ain't <laughs> messing with you. Alright. Got yeah, in this sort of some mold dorms, I'm gonna bother with them. Although killing them probably gets me something, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, was there a treasure chest beneath me? No, there isn't, so whatever. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> Alright, oh, now here we have some fun with uh, Ezlo here. 
Is there any reason we'd even want to go on there? Well, I guess it might be safer. But, eh, we don't have to worry about that. I think we can just... Here we go. That's pretty easy. Whether or not we're done with that is another story. Some pots here. Is there any, like, bombable walls down there I can see? Because sometimes they do that. So you gotta be, like, careful. Alright. Now we gotta push a block here. Alright. So anyone play play along with me during the Let's Play? It's on the, uh... This game's on... If you have the Ambassador program. Not ah, fudge. Run, run it off, Link. Or Odin. This game is part of the Ambassador program now, so if you have a 3DS and you bought it at the right time, this was like a free download. Which is pretty good. I really like this game. What? Oh, come on. This is way more tedious than it has to be. I'm gonna wait for that guy to go around again. I should be good. And hopefully this is enough. Yep. There we go. I'm not even worried about you. I don't have to even mess with you, so... Screw you. <laughs> I haven't played it on the 3DS because I've been playing it on here. <laughs> Forever now. So it feels like, anyway. I don't know. How long have we been playing this game? It hasn't actually been that long. I mean, it's been a long project. 50 or so parts isn't exactly the shortest game. But, you know, I don't think it's been that long. I've been playing, like, other stuff along with it. I played Kirby with it. That was a fun project during Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. Uh, is there anything in here? Some arrows. Do we want to kill these? No, I don't think we really care about killing those guys. Maybe we do. Or okay, we need arrows. The game's like, hey, do you have the boomerang? If you don't, we're gonna give you these arrows. Like we could have used the boomerang there, but I guess you don't. You don't have to have the boomerang at all in this game. It's a completely optional item. What's this one do? Oh, this makes another switch. Just to a little power up area. That's all. Unless there's a bombable wall here. Nope. I love how fast that bar fills up. It's a shame you don't get that upgrade earlier in the game. But whatever. What can you do? Alright, so what we gotta do here? Uh, pretty simple puzzle here. This one. This one. This one, and this one. There we go. I probably could have done that in a different order, but I like trying to make it all symmetrical and stuff. Oh, and these guys. Uh, there's no real easy way to deal with these guys. I think someone told me, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, well, bombs work on them. Maybe bombs are a good strategy on them. Because I don't have to get in there. It's not really doing a lot of damage, though. Well, I can't... I can barely tell if it's... Look, it's, he's still taking hits. Please die! Yeah, that one's died. Dead. That one's dead. Alright, we got a teleporter in two rooms. Wow, that's the boss... That's the final boss door, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, it really is. There's still quite a bit of this place left, though. <laughs> now what we got in here? We got a door I'm not going through. That's what we got in here. Fine game. Oh, yeah, this is the room that I couldn't understand forever. Um, what you have... And you can't put bombs, I think, on that platform. I think they, like, fall through. What you have to do here... I tried doing this earlier in... Uh, darn it. In the Mines Dungeon... But I didn't succeed at it. That's what you have to do. I'm pretty sure. And I don't need this platform now. Just whoop. Oh, that platform is just for getting back down. Oh, oh no, okay, no, we have to actually get up there. We have to hit those switches. Okay. It's cool. I think. Okay, you only have to jump up through one of these here. 
And then you just hit them both. I'll just use the boomerang. There. And now we gotta hop back down. They should have made it so you, there was you had to hop through both of these. I would have done that. Make it as tedious as possible. Come on. I mean, it's the final dungeon of the game. I meant to, I was gonna talk about this for a while. I was thinking about it like before I started recording. Why is this dungeon laid out like this? Like this is a really obscure design for someone to change a dungeon into with all these different like traps and stuff. I really liked Ganon's castle slash tower in Ocarina because it's like, well for starters, you can't really get in my castle because there's a gigantic hole in front of it. And even if you manage to get inside of it, uh, you gotta deal with these evil orbs that, you know, you just happen to have a weapon against. Like he, Ganon really wasn't expecting that. Oh man, this guy. This guy turns fast. Stop it! And then, okay, so. And then you got these evil orbs to deal with, right? Which aren't really, like. They're just kind of like a barrier. And then once you get past those, it's just like a tower. Like, he's just got bad guys up there, it's nothing else. Because he's not really expecting anyone to get by there, so his tower is just with a locked door because he just wants to practice his piano in silence. Like, I don't know, I really liked Ganon's castle in Ocarina of Time. Although I really appreciate the final dungeon appeal. Like, once we finish this dungeon, it's the final boss. It's no, there's no, we have to go somewhere else in the game to fight him or something like that. This is a pretty intense sword fight, I'm not lying here. We got him. 